Hi and welcome to Themeco. In this video, we will talk about one constraint or joint that might make sense when we call it constraint. We are talking about the fixed joint. Yes, you heard right. It is possible to have a completely fixed and rigid, of course, ideally, joint in our mechanism. Why should we have such a joint? That's something to ask from the designer, but it is possible to have them. By the end of this video, we expect you to know enough details to express a fixed joint in mathematical terms so you can include it in your formulations. Let's start. As the name implies, a fixed joint is a joint that doesn't allow any relative movement between the two bodies being connected by it. Meaning that from the three possible degrees of freedom a body can have in a planar movement or 2D mechanism, a fixed joint constrains all of them. We will need this interpretation to create the mathematical equations to represent this case. If one body is not able to relatively rotate or translate with respect to the other body, this is equivalent to saying that both bodies must keep their initial relative configuration during the whole time. To write this mechanism in mathematical form, let's bring an inertial system with two bodies joined by a fixed constraint. Let's use point O, which is the point where our fixed joint is located to express these conditions mathematically. We see that the position of the point O might be defined using body A or body B. If the two body system must keep the initial configuration, it means that the position vector of point O measured via bodies A and B must be the same all the time. In vector terms, that is, RAO equals RBO. And this, represented as a constraint, needs to be rearranged to C is RAO minus RBO equals 0. This vector equation will origin two scalar equations representing the constraints of the two only possible translations in the planar movement. That is, C1 is Rxa plus U bar X bar AO cos theta A minus U bar Y bar AO sin theta A minus Rxb minus U bar X bar BO cos theta B plus U bar Y bar BO sin theta B equals 0. C2 is RYA plus U bar X bar AO sin theta A plus U bar Y bar AO cos theta A minus RYB minus U bar X bar BO sin theta B minus U bar Y bar BO cos theta B equals 0. We have now defined the constraints on the translations. Similarly, to define the constraint on the relative rotation of the bodies, we can say that C3 is theta A minus theta B minus C equals 0. This equation describes that the orientation angles must remain unchanged during the whole time. Whichever the initial orientation was, this must be kept constant. In this video, we expressed mathematically the effect of a fixed joint. Now you know how to impose the conditions of no translation and no rotation in your formulations. Well, we haven't got to that specific part, but you are collecting the tools for that purpose. I hope you've liked this lesson. Don't miss the next one. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.